Hi besties, how are you doing today? I'm gonna be doing this purple halo eyeshadow look. So if y'all wanna see how I did it, keep on watching. So I'm using this e.l.f. Camel Concealer. It is a hydrating one in the shade Light Sand. And I'm just applying it on my lid because we're gonna, you know, get a base for our, our eyeshadows. I do like to go in with the lighter shade of concealer just so my eyeshadows can pop a little and also I don't set it just so they can be more pigmented. I'm going to be using the Violets by Juvia's Place. This is the purple eyeshadow that I'm going to be using and I'm taking this flat small brush just to pack the eyeshadow on the outer part of my eye and I'm keeping that on the lid. I'm not going above the crease. I'm using tapping motions and a little bit of like sliding motions just tiny tiny bit and you want to concentrate that just in the outer part I'm also applying the shadow in the inner corner of the eye and I'm the same not going above the crease just keeping it there on the lid just on the outer part and I don't tap out the excess on the brush because I want that pigment on the on the lids so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And you want to keep that space in between because that's where the shimmer is going. Now I'm just taking another small brush, but this one is more rounded. And this one, I'm just going to pick up that light purple shade and apply it on the crease. What we're going to do here, we're going to try to diffuse that line on the from the dark shade. Just so everything can look nice and blended and you do want to take your time on this it does take time so yeah all you gotta do is just blend 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 blending is the key <laughs> but yeah this is what i'm doing and see how it looks more soft more blended you just gotta take your time on the blending i'm also going a little bit above my crease that way when i look forward you can see the purple eyeshadow. Now I'm taking the flat brush again just to bring the dark purple color back because it did fade away a little bit. And now I'm going in with this light purple shimmer. It is so pretty. As you can see, once I apply it on the lid, I really, really love how this popped. And you just want to apply it there at the center and it just looks so pretty. You can you can try it with any shades to be honest. You can try pink, green, whatever eyeshadow you want. But this is a nice color. Not nice color but a nice look to do. I really love doing this kind of eyeshadows. And now here I'm just blending the edges just so everything can look nice and blended. Now I'm going in with the super precise eyeliner and I'm going to be applying this just above the eyelash line. I think that's how you call it. I'm not sure. But yes, I'm just doing a little line here just so whenever I apply the lashes, it just looks like one. You don't really see the lash band. I do not have a purple eyeliner. So what I do is I just apply eyeshadow on my waterline and this is the dark purple that I'm going to be applying. So now I'm just going in with the light purple on my lower lash. Now I'm going in with the white eyeshadow in my inner corner because I don't want to add a shimmer on there because, you know, we want the lids to pop. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I really like how the light purple looks and I don't want the inner corner to take that away from it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and I'm also applying it on my brow bone. Now you just take whatever mascara you have. I use a L'Oreal and I'm just applying it on my lower lashes. And that's it for this look besties. I hope you guys like it. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and share this video. And let me know what other eyeshadows y'all want me to do. I'll be so happy to do so. So thank you guys for watching. And you have a blessed day. See y'all in my next video. Bye.